that uh, otherwise there's no space to draw it fully. Yes, someone is there in the waiting room. Samsu, can we draw like that by rotating the book? Ah, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Good Samsung morning. Good morning, all waiting. of you. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, okay. Thank For you. drawing that double bar graph, you do one thing. Take the landscape, not vertical, horizontal way. You can take that. Ma'am, that if there is no space, right? Otherwise, yeah. you can. Otherwise, uh, otherwise way. vertical. If there is no space, okay. you just rotate it. Uh, take the horizontal uh, uh, side of the graph. Okay, no problem. No problem. No need to rotate now. For someone's graph, it is no need. Otherwise, they need to rotate. So grouping data. Did we start this? Uh, Sixty yes, marks. You okay, one four. question of that marks. Marks. Upper limit and lower limit we discussed, yes, isn't it? No. Class yes, bit. Okay. Yes, and we need to do this uh, 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 frequency table for this sixty students. That question only you wrote, isn't it? I'm not. No, so ma'am, you gave us try. Yes, ma'am. So we just try. No, ah. not this question. Not okay. this one, but just to read the, uh, the marks obtained by a student by sixty mathematics. So fair example, this arts, group, science. Group, this one. No, so, ma'am. Marks so, obtained. Oh, ma'am. Ma'am, answer that one question is right. Marks obtained students, by sixty students. students. Ah, 60 that is this students. one. This one. This is yeah. this twenty one ten thirty, isn't it? Ah yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, this one. This one is the question. And you did this yes, frequency distribution. Okay, we yes, will we will discuss that. We will discuss what is the table you pr uh, prepared. Zero to ten, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, zero to ten, ten to twenty. Uh, okay, classes. Uh, Class uh, zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty, forty to fifty, fifty to sixty, and tally marks. Um, tally marks you did, um, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. Ah, so I'm not doing that. Frequency we will write. Frequency. What is the first frequency? Ma'am, two. Ma'am, two. Only two, two. students. Yes, ma'am. Okay, two. Then. Ten. 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 Then. Twenty-one. 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 Then. Nineteen. Nineteen. Then. Seven. Eleven. Eleven. Seven. 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 One. Seven. Correct. Correct. Total. Nine. You can check if this uh, frequency. It will be total. Will be. Sixty. Total is sixty. Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay. All did this. Yes, ma'am. Total is sixty. Yeah. You have to put this in a box. Frequency distribution table must be a box. So this is the frequency distribution table. Now, for uh, representing a continuous frequency table, we need some graphs. Okay. So for representing frequency distribution table. We are using histograms. It is known as histogram. Histogram. Actually, histograms are also some bar graphs, a special type of bar graph. But the difference is there is no gap between the bars. Histogram is continuous bar. There is no gap between the bar. They are known as histogram. I will show the picture of it. See, this is a histogram. See, first first bar is this one, and second one is. I'm going to zoom is, in a little. Can you zoom it. You can see the first yes, bar. Okay, you can here you can see the first bar, and this is the second bar, third bar, fourth bar, fifth bar, sixth bar. There is no gap between the bars. Histogram just like our bar graphs. But there is no gaps between the uh, between the bars because see the classes are we are representing the classes no see the classes are continuous zero to ten after that ten to twenty twenty to thirty they are continuous we are representing these classes 
since the classes are continuous our bars also continuous one is, uh, is they are adjacent with the uh, previous one and the new bar is adjacent with the previous there is no gap between them so let us try to draw uh, a bar uh, histogram uh, before that you have to answer this question okay i will show that question this see read this question the study of the follow, following frequency distribution table study the following frequency distribution table and answer the questions given below what is given frequency distribution of daily income of 550 workers of a factory is given no need to write you just read the question concentrate here otherwise the question is there in your book page number 73 you can look that also textbook page number 73 this question is the frequency distribution of daily income of 500 and 550 one second please so frequency distribution of daily income of 550 workers of a factory class intervals are given 100 to 125 125 to 150 that classes we will write in the other side because the remaining part is on the other side so 100 to 125 we should write this no 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 Hundred to one twenty five, one twenty five to one fifty. I will write. And its frequencies are forty five and twenty. Forty five and twenty five. Forty five and twenty five. Now you have some questions here. You have to answer that. No need to write. What is the size of the class intervals? What is the size of the class intervals? How can we find the class interval? What is the formula for class interval? Not minus one twenty. Ah, uh, upper limit minus lower oh, limit. No, no. Not hundred minus one twenty five. One twenty five minus hundred. So, what is the size of the class intervals here? Twenty five. Twenty five. Each class interval is twenty five. Two hundred minus one seventy five. Two seventy five minus two fifty. Three twenty five minus three hundred. Each class size of each class is. Twenty-five. Understood, all of you. How to find the class inter size of the class intervals? Yes. Okay. Upper limit minus lower limit will give the class interval. And which class has the highest frequency? Which class has the highest frequency? Ma'am, ma'am, three hundred twenty-five. No. Ma'am, two hundred to two twenty-five. Ma'am, two hundred. Two hundred to two. Twenty-five, two hundred to two hundred to two twenty. If you have your textbook with you, you can write the answers on that. And which is the class that has lowest frequency? Ma'am, three hundred to three hundred to three hundred to. Ma'am, why we are saying like the the more one is three hundred now? No, no frequency. We are asking about frequency, Mithun. Okay, ma'am. Now this, uh, there are four, four hundred and one hundred and forty workers with this wage. Yes, ma'am. Oh, so frequency is number of an item repeating. That is the frequency, now. So this is oh, the frequency. Okay, okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Okay, understood. Okay. Now, what is the upper limit of the class interval two hundred fifty to two hundred and seventy-five? What is the upper limit of this class? Um, um upper limit is 275 275 275 upper limit is 275 and which two classes have the same frequency ma'am 150 175 uh, these two classes 150 to 175 and 225 to 250 okay Understood how to uh, uh, prepare a frequency distribution table, and uh, we, we can answer whatever questions under uh, that uh, frequency table comes. We can easily uh, answer those questions. Now we are going to draw histogram. 
okay so you do one thing you give a heading histogram ma'am we have to draw this in graph book histogram ah yes histogram is on graph book before that you just write what is a histogram and all after that uh, question we will do on graph book okay okay so histogram heading histogram Can we write this? Hmm? Can we write this? Wait. You give the heading histogram. This no need to write. If you have textbook with you, you can write that answers in your textbook. Histogram. now write write all of you grouped data can be represented using histogram first point about histogram is grouped i will write grouped data can be first point grouped data grouped data can be represented using histogram can be represented using histogram second point histogram is a special type of bar bar graph histogram is a on x axis we can take class intervals intervals and on y axis we will take the frequencies we will take frequencies we will take frequencies y axis we will take frequencies since there is since there is no gap between the class interval intervals class intervals since there is no gap between the class intervals on histogram histogram there is no gap between gap between there is no gap between bars underline that sentence very important point there is there is no gap no gap no gap between the bars there is no gap between the bars
Rod, all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Now I can I will show you some histograms. Here you can see a histogram. This histogram shows marks uh, of students. See the marks of students and number of students. Marks lies between 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and 50 to 60. Okay, and see the first bar, first bar class in, uh, on x-axis. On x-axis, we took these class intervals, x-axis. We took class intervals 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And on y-axis, frequencies, because least frequency is 1 and, uh, and maximum frequency is 21. So you can take 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. And for the first class, first class frequency is 2. So 2, for, like our bar graph. 0 to 10, 2. 10 to 20, 10. So it is continuously we will draw. 10 with the same one. 20 to 30, it is 21. So from here, understood how to draw? Yes, ma'am. Now 30 to 40, 19. So from here only, 19. 40 to 50, 7. Mm -hmm. And 50 to 60, 1. one. Okay, shall we draw this on graph book? Yes, yes. yes ma'am. Okay, so take your graph book. Take your graph book, write the question. Huh? Yes. Ma'am, in y axis, they are showing 22, 20, and 18. 22? Ma'am, in the number of even numbers, right? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8. Uh, instead of that, 1 to 20. Even. That also you can do. You can take any. Oh. I didn't understand your question. That's the question you ask? No, ma'am. Uh, ah. In, in, uh, in uh, bar graph and all, there is 10, 20, 30, like that. So ah, okay, because uh, if, you, if you want more numbers, we will take 10, 20 or 5, 10, 15. So here... We have frequency, least frequency is 1 and highest frequency is 21. So you can choose this as per your frequencies. If it is high, we will take 10, 20 like that. If it is very uh, less numbers, we will take, if it is, uh, suppose only 10, 10 is the maximum. So we will take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 instead of 2, 4, 6. That you can choose, that interval you can choose on y axis. Okay? Okay. Okay. Take your graph book on the right side. Write the question. Question. Represent the following data. Represent the following data using a histogram. Represent the following data using a histogram. And write this table. Take this table. Can I say, represent? represent the following data using a histogram. Represent the following data using a histogram. And that question of class in the room, mm. that is okay. Yes, this one. Table 5.4. This table. Zero to ten. Frequency 2. Take the question. Ma'am, the table also we have to draw. Ah, table. Draw the table. Right side. On right side, draw the table.
can we draw also that mark of student? Ah, yes, yes. Draw that on the right side. No, left side. Left, graph paper, you draw that graph. Why they are taking two, four, six, eight, ten? Why? Why they are taking? See, the least value is one, and the highest value is uh, twenty-one. No, yes. twenty-one. So we can choose we, that. You can choose uh, as uh, our uh, appropriate uh, intervals. Okay. 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 If it is suppose if it is a uh, in, uh, frequencies ranging from ten to ten eighteen then seventy five up to seventy five it will range. So what how we will take we will choose zero ten twenty that way we will choose. Yes, if if we choose two uh, two four six uh, eight, four, eight. Uh, if we choose two four six eight, uh, that uh, length of the graph won't be enough. So we will choose ten twenty. That is our as our wish. We can choose uh, according to our length of the graph paper. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can shade this. Is it over all of you? No, ma'am. One minute, ma'am. Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah. And should we shade that? Uh, if you want, you can do. It's not compulsory. Okay. Mm. Over. Yes. Okay. I know. Okay. No, okay. Okay. I will wait. I will wait.
Over, Alan? No, over, ma'am. Okay. Now, see, see, children, here the class starts from 0 to 10. 10 the, the, the data given is in that form 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50. Suppose we are discussing the age of uh, teachers in your school. Hmm? So, that debt, in that data, zero, will this class come? 0 to 10 class will come in that data? Oh. Hmm? Mm. And 10 to 20, will it come? The data discussing the uh, age of teachers in your school. Will these two classes will come there? No. Mm. No. The, oh. No. The classes will be like this way. How? 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50 will come. In such cases, in such cases, when we are draw, drawing histograms, in such cases, when we are drawing histogram, here what we will take, we will take the class intervals or limits, upper cl uh, class limits we will take. So zero will be there. And zero to 10 and 10 to 20 won't come. So what we will do, what we will do, we won't write this. We won't write this 0 to 10 class. Eh? First of all, we will write 20 itself. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Here number, if, if it is one, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. And See, so we are we are eliminating two classes. Which of the classes 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 we are not writing because such teachers won't be there in a uh, uh, school. Age with the 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 won't be there in a school. So we are eliminating these two classes and we are just uh, uh, first itself, first class itself 0 to 20. 20 to 30, 30 to then continuous class intervals. So since we are in between this 0 and 20, in between the, in between this 0 and 20, we are, elim, we are eliminating these two classes for representing that there are some values between 0 and 20. We will put a mark in this way one n like mark and it is known as king or uh, king or jagged line king or jagged line jagged line jagged line represents there will be some values in between that interval Okay, if it is not starts from zero, if the classes are not starts from zero, what we will do, we, for the first unit, for the first class, we will put a N like mark, which means that in between, in, in between first class, there will be some values that we are not mentioning. I will show you one figure. See here, number of teachers, age, age of teachers so 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 between these two classes there won't be a, a, there won't be a teacher mm. so we are so we are leaving those two classes and we are putting putting a n like mark did you so yes, uh, so this is known as a jagged line or a broken line or a king it shows there won't be some um, values between these two values. Understood? So write uh, before before doing the next one. Uh, you uh, either you draw the histogram in on that we will do. Okay, no need to write what is jagged between a his while drawing a histogram we will write. So write next one. Um, draw a histogram for the following data. Draw a histogram for the following data. This question we will do. So that that jagged line will come. Draw a histogram for the following data. Write the question. Draw a histogram for the following data. Question I'll give. 
draw a histogram for the following data. Age of teachers and uh, number of teachers. Age of teachers, number of teachers. Now age starts from 20 to 25. Forty-five to fifty, and the number of teachers is four, five, six, three, four, five, six, three, two, five. These are the number of teachers. We need to represent this data on a histogram. <coughs> Okay, now take your graph paper. One minute. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Ma'am, this question we have to write in the graph book, right? Yes, yes, yes. Right side, right side of the graph book. Hello. All of you? No, ma'am. Okay, we'll wait. Okay, draw x axis and y axis. The number should be up to seven now. Hmm? Five, five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can take. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And classes are 20, not starting 30, from uh, okay. zero to ten and ten to twenty. We are not taking, we are directly goes to twenty. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and here you are putting a jagged line. And on the right side, you put this jagged line, then right, it is a jag king. Either you can call it as a king or Jagged line, jagged line or broken line, we will call in this way, broken line. Then write, it is used on x-axis, um, right side, right side, right on the right side. And the y-axis, y-axis, we are directly, directly go into 10 D. Y axis we don't want. We, y axis we, we have the numbers now. 4, 5, 6, 3, 2 frequency we are taking. Ma'am, X axis. X axis. Ah, directly. X -axis. Directly we are going to 20. That's why okay. I'm, we are explained about king and this jagged line. We are not taking 0 to 10 and 10 to 20. Because such class is not there in our question. Understood? We are not having that uh, age uh, group teachers. 0 to 10 and 10 to 20. So we are not taking that classes on x-axis. Understood, Michelle? Yes, ma'am. No. It is used on x-axis, jagged line. It is used on x-axis to indicate that to indicate that 
we are not showing numbers between 0 and 10 to indicate that we are we are not showing showing numbers between between 0 to 20 and we have to write this on the graph the scheme no 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 on the right side right side for just for your information only while doing the uh, exams no need to write okay okay ma'am now you can draw the histogram see 20 to 20 uh, 20 to 25 is there no so 20 to 25 is there so take 20 to 25 classes 20 to 25 30 35 40 45 and 50 25 is there okay. ma'am 0 to 10 we should give uh, left a gap now ah, yes that gap this king we will give a gap so 20 to 25 is here 4 no leave a space then 20 to 25 this gap will for that king we will leave that gap now 25 to 35 30 to 35 6 35 to 43 2 5 again Eight. Attendance, please. Adnan. Yes, ma'am. Alna, Alan, present ma'am. Alna, present ma'am. Alina, present ma'am. Alna, John, Anlia, Ashmit, Deviga, Dion, Abhinav, Abhinav present. Evelyn, Shasa, yes ma'am. Abhinav is present. Abhinav present? Yes, ma'am. Jeevan, Gobi Krishna, Jeevan, Gino, yes, Gino present? Yes, Gino. Gino is present. Yes, ma'am. Krishna Veni, Mithun, Krishna Veni yes, present? Krishna Veni? Krishna Veni? No, ma'am. Michelle? Amishet, Prarthana, Raulgar. Okay, okay. Safa, Safa is there? Safa? No. Sar Sarhat? No, ma'am. No, ma Changeri, Shivanya, yes. Shivanand, yes. Steve, Thomas Jacko. Thomas yes, Jacko present? Ah, okay, okay. Yes, yes, Tia, yes. Tia, Varada? Yes, ma'am. Okay. He is present. Is it over? Your uh, yes, histogram? Yes, ma'am, okay. one minute. Ma'am, ma ma Midun is present. Okay, okay Midun. Okay, Midun. I saw you. That you can complete because our time is up. Okay, children. Ravalgar is present. Ravalgar. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I put I put Ravalgar. Okay. That you complete, okay? Because our time is up. Huh? Can you yes. show the slide one more time? Just can you just show the definition? The name is present. What definition? Ah, write fastly. Uh, write fastly. The name is present. Alan, okay, I put attendance. I put attendance. Don't worry. Is it over? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma ah, okay, okay, bye. Okay, bye, all of you. Bye, ma'am. Okay, thank bye. you, ma'am.